How do you say that? D-U-E-R-S-T. Did you remember Durst is the worst? Ah! Durst the worst, bitch! <laughs> Durst the worst, bitch! Durst the worst, bitch! Durst the worst, bitch! Oh, my name is John Harvey, spelled H-A-R-V-I-E, and I'm a substitute teacher. This last um, first semester this year, I covered two va teacher vacancies and one family leave and had 430 students that I taught in my classes. 430 students. And that was just the first semester. When my students are in my class, they're not only learning, but they're calm and there is order. So when they could go on to the next class, they can learn from the next teacher instead of being all riled up. But nobody here has been willing to pay health care for me. Who among you would recommend my job to a family member or anyone that you care about? Can you raise your hand? Who would recommend my job without health care to any family member or somebody that you care about? You wouldn't. Nor would any of those principals standing behind you. You not be honest with your boss right here. So you might say, oh, there is this new thing called the of substitute teachers on special assignment. But what makes me effective is that I have relationships with my students. My students have been in my classroom who are seniors for four years. The juniors have been in my classrooms for three years. The sophomores for two years. And the freshmen, they get it because they see how the sophomores and the juniors and seniors act around me. If you decide to throw me as a warm body just into any old position, you are going to take away what makes me effective. That's not building cultural competence. That's your goal yeah, that's is right. to build cultural competence. Let yeah. me teach you. You don't do that without building relationships. And I deserve to be in a position where I have health insurance and can be competent because I have relationships with my students. Why don't you allow that when you say your goal is to create a better cultural climate? That's right. Start the work. To try, bitch.